Hey guys, this is Ryan Mueller. I am a MSP consultant at ProValtech, and I'm going to show you guys how to disable commands and redirectors or uh, any other client specific settings access on a per client basis per user that is not included in the user classes. So to start out, I created a test user account, given them this example super admin super, or this uh, user class. It has full super admin rights without actually checking the super admin box. If you do check that super admin box, it does override these client settings. So take note of that. Um, and I've also excluded the show all for computers just in case you wanted to exclude certain machines from their access. I have given this user class all agents and all clients full access so there is no uh, restriction to the users or to the computers that it can access um, but this is just for example. So to get started here, if you double click on the client you wish to change these permissions on and you go to the permissions tab here and you can see my example super admin that I applied to my test user has zero permissions whatsoever for this client and let's see what that gives us when we log into our test user. So reloading the system cache will refresh these permissions so you can adjust these and test this on the fly but as you can see the control button was lit up before the system cache reload uh, and now it's not we can't do anything to these machines other than view inventory information if we open up any one of these machines I can demonstrate that by going to tools if I try to open up file explorer it just says denied no scripts are available no commands are available everything has been restricted at this client level so if you come back to this permission screen and let's say we want to give them access to be able to use the command prompt allow remote access and send commands so if I send save this information this should allow me to remote into the machine as well as open up the command prompt and send commands through that command prompt sometimes this does take a little bit to save so just be patient So if I reload the system cache on my test user account that I'm logged into, and this is just the permissions window, we're going to minimize out of that. Now you can see the control button is already lit up. So we can already see it working. If I double click on this agent here, for instance, we can see that control should be working here. I think this might be just an agent issue here. So you can see. I am able to control into the machine. If I double click on it again, I think the permissions just didn't fully update when I reopened it. 
Uh, if I go to tools, I can go to command prompt. Now I can see command prompt. And if I run ipconfig, it will execute the command and output the results shortly. As you can see, the command proceeded as expected. The permissions are the way that we anticipated. Um, in addition here to these default computer permissions, there are location and password permissions that uh, are available here. Um, this is also a way for you to restrict access to permissions at your site or any specific client site that you do not want certain people to access and be able to view. So you can actually uh, exclude all of these checkboxes and if, uh, if there are any credentials or anything stored at the location, you can see nothing is showing up in this location when I clicked on it because we don't have even access to read or look at the location. And that is it. I hope you got some use out of this video. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks.